They chopped down original uh, big uh, tulip poplar trees. This is all by hand tulip poplar. The floor oh, okay. is all pine. This is your kitchen because about 90% of this glass is original. Glass is made of sand. Sometimes it comes out clear, sometimes ripples. You see? Right, this? right, right. So right. we have 12 panes on top, 12 on the bottom. Kitchen's built here because that's the south. There's right. the east, there's the west, and the sun goes in the spot of sky, so your kitchen is here. Yes. Uh, the Indians show the uh, ladies how to grow your herbs, to flavor your foods, and to make medicines. Right. Uh, that's your open hot fireplace. Yes. I've got a little fire going there only to take out the chill. There is a furnace downstairs. We have a caretaker that lives upstairs. There is air conditioning in here. Oh, yeah. M not much insulation in the walls, so right. you have uh, some horse hair, some mud, and uh, hay and straw packed together. Uh, the, that's an original 24 candle mold. That's made by the tinsmith. Uh, Alright, cool. Got uh, your gourd. It could be a canteen, or you can cut it over here as a bowl, or we have dry peas, dry corn, dry rice, right in here. Gotcha. Uh, if you want to, at home, you can take corn, and you could take the cob, throw it outside for about three months, take a cooking saw, cut it very thin, and make a set of checkers out of that. So I use black ink and oh, beaches. Nice. It, oh, it, beaches works, yeah. It, it works. I've right? actually used beaches to paint, uh, and I actually I use the pulp as a... Um, the dye. No, the, well, the pulp has the texture. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's an okay. organic uh, wall. Okay. Oh, that's cool. That's, that's a toaster. What was that? This is a toaster. Oh, yeah? Nice. That's called a toad toaster. Nice. It's on a swivel. If you put these, you put two slices of bread in there, you right, put, right. You put it right, next to the fire. fire. If you want toast on your side, you just over your shoe right. and you kick it around. Yeah, excellent. That's your spider pan. Uh, that's an original uh, winter butter churn. You use this only if you got ice and snow. That's your refrigerator. Right. This is your summer churn. I, you can get that on a computer today. Right. The nearest water supply was a half a mile up, up there. Right. And uh, but in the late 18 and early 1900s, the last official owners of the farm, the Staddles, this is very. Queens and Brooklyn became part of New York City in the latter part of 1898. Right. So before that, this was all Long Island. Right, right. So the saddles got tired of walking all that distance for water. That well. So they dug down until they got water. There's a, a river still, 105 feet down. The windmill, uh, the wind hits the veins and it beams up the water. Right. Yeah, that's cool. I was looking at that. So that still works today? Yeah. Well, it, we, it's a reproduction. Right. Okay. So. And this is a boom corn. There's an antique seed you can still get called boom corn. It grows as high as corn. You can't eat it, but this is your plant, and you uh, tie it on the stick and get a boom. Yes, they do that in the Philippines a lot with uh, brooms like that. Well, most booms today are from the Philippines, but I saw yeah. boom corn. They go. This is your master bedroom uh -huh. with a simple low bed for the bed for the pillow. That's an original swamp of what they call in Zuluzi in the colonial days. Most people wrote planks to make linen, right. and then women found out if you combine linen all together, you get a strong material. Right. So most people in the Civil War were Lindsay Woolsey. Lindsay Woolsey. This is your original insulation in here. Not much. That's why it's just really a lot of here. I don't know if you're going to get it. <laughs> and this is your parlor. Uh, we call it the living room. This mm -hmm. is your original Dutch door with right. 1920 hardware. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is your original front entrance of your house. Mm -hmm. the woodshed, and you went to your herb garden. Nice. Oh, there's Elmo. They do Elmo is here. Is that a rabbit? <laughs> uh, and, and well, they have a private east egg hunt. Oh. We had a general east egg hunt a couple of weeks ago. Back to back fireplace. Uh, these are reproduction toys. You got your pickup sticks, your yo yo's, your tops, right over here. This is a reproduction of the most popular toy for boys and girls in Colonial. Oh, where you sit down, they put this under the lap and they can grow flax. You can put it on a flax wheel for linen, but this is an original flax doll. Nice. And this is an original toy from the late 18 to the early 1900s. The only thing we do is we string it and right. you just go on. Uh, cool. yeah. And this is around 1911. <coughs> you see that doorknob? Mm -hmm. the, the doorknob. What you don't see is a lock on the side. See that little latch over here? Uh, onto that. 
Um, this is from a very rich family. Anybody under five years old would be in white smocks, but as soon as you reach five years old, you're dressed like your, your parents. So right. On a farm, you couldn't, you could never afford to dress your children like this because these are rich. Right. It would be hand-me-down clothes. Right, right, right. A good dress for a young girl today. You, when you go to a supermarket, you see potatoes in a burlap bag. Right. Burlap bag uh, made dresses. So that that's the store. The picture is. This is all 1772. Right. Watch your step. We're going to an 1855 extension. Uh huh. That was built by the Agnesses. This is built by the Coxes. This was a very famous horse farm. This, the Coxes went through this, uh, here to uh, for about three years through the Civil War. This is a Civil War dining room, Ben Piper and Style Stone. Reproduction wallpaper. Interesting chair, even though it's from the colonial period on Hunter, you come in here, you sit down, you work the panels, and you get instant cold air. Nice. That's all you need. <laughs> an original party. People did not, did not want to put grandfathers in the house, so right. that's a Victorian party. Nice. There you go. Yeah. Basically a bucket and a Yeah, box. that's all it is. The children's <laughs> job was to clean it up. Nice. This is your china closet. If you're going to put china, be pewter, cup of wood, or tin. And then when the Coxes built this part of the house, since they had quite a bit of money to expand the house, they closed off the colonial fireplace. This is a Civil War kitchen. That's an original thing here from the Civil War. Uh, and this is a Civil War kitchen now. Not a good place to put a kitchen because the sun is over there. This gets very dark in the wintertime. Uh, this is a cauldron that's for some cooking. Instead of the yes hooks, you have what is called a crane. It's on a swivel. It swings right up. Oh, okay, right. You still need your Dutch oven. You still need your spider pan. Seen that's the that. original salt box. seen that in the movies. <laughs> yeah, but this thing really works. So no, no, no. We can still get it today. Right. And I have a power horn. Just to let you know, I can make about 11 items out of this. You can get this on a computer. Right. Okay. Uh, I, out of this, I can make a salt shaker, a pepper shaker, and a drinking cup. Okay. I can make your buttons out of here. I can put this in water and water, make a lady a comb, a spoon, and a fork. So we can do a lot of things with this here. Good to know. Yeah, well, you know, it's just like in those days, you didn't have the money. You know, the closest time well, was Well, those days are right here. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather live in those days than here. Yeah, me too. <laughs> that's why I do living history. I hear you. I get away from reality. Yeah, it works for me. <laughs> uh, but uh, we got electricity here because, again, the last official owners, the saddles, the residents right. were put in that uh, window. Uh, this is a Civil War dining room. You can actually download this off the computer. Oh, the picture? Yes. Just put in Ford Orange. All right, now the Dutch. So New Amsterdam, they're working for the Dutch East India Company to make money. 1635, they went up to Hudson River to Albany, where mm -hmm. Albany is now. Right. And they built a big trading post to trade with the Native American Indians. Right. This is the South Street Seaport. Now, you can't download this, but if you put in the Great Britain, see the Great Britain? Right. This was a new kind of a boat, a steamboat. Right. Okay, now, this is the transition like we have today. You had your sailboat, Sail, you got the right. full steamboat, and you got one of these. Right. Hey, look, look what you got over here. There's oh, an house. <laughs> this is Boston Harbor, but it could be New York Harbor, Long Island Sound. This is an original reflector light from the 1860s. Instead of putting a candle on a mantle and pulling down and bring the house down, right. this is a magnifying glass. Right. All original. Put it by the window. If, if it's designed to use whale oil, we use modern lamp oil, and it throws out a beam and it lights up part of your room. Right. The tin ceiling is original. You can get that on a computer. But you know why there's a tin ceiling? The heat from the fireplace goes up there and reflects, and you stay nice and warm. Uh, also, to prevent you from burning your house down. Gotcha. So, right. And look right. at this table. See this table here? Uh -huh. This is a reproduction. We now have some a place to sit down. Right, right. A little storage room. Right, right. Our caretaker does a lot of antique furniture. Oh, this is all uh, Victorian. So I'll just give you an idea of what it's like. Really? If you're interested.